Very windy day here. North Carolina. So these are two Jinko 405 Eagle panels, row by white. Split cell, 34 cell, 72 cell, have a look at it. These are my power field power racks. <clears throat> Word of advice to my customers who want to use these, get a straight edge. Good afternoon, this is Todd at NC Solar Electric and I'm here to follow up on the installation of these two panels behind me that I installed yesterday. All right, I'm gonna try and hang a panel now, all by myself. Wish me luck. After moving all that rock, I'm not exactly feeling strong. snapped in the edge there you can see it back up so snapped in the groove it's lined up flush here those things stick out you can see the tie down pins those are if you want to put tie ropes to tie it down okay now we're going to install the front clips the front clip looks like this okay, it goes in and slides forward so Right here, right, so you slide it in, you lift it up. Uh, it's a little hard to do with one hand, but you slide it up in there, lift up, push down on the panel and pull it forward until it locks. Then it's locked on the panel. Once it's locked on the panel, then you take one of these T-clips, put them in like that, put it up so that the water don't sit in it, snap it in. That's it, it's locked, no tools required. Power field power racks, piece of cake. Now I gotta do the other. This 
is Todd at NC Solar Electric signing off. I am literally done with this installation. That's it. Two panels connected by a 30 amp plug. My junction box. As soon as I get permission to operate, I will plug it in and let you know. If you need power field power racks, one miles inverters, give me a call. Take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Solar Power DIY Help Desk.